Hello, this is saxophonist Greg Fishman, and welcome to another video lesson. Today we're going to be working with the chromatic scale, but only four notes of it. We're going to do it descending, and I'm going to show you how you can use that with practicing your chord arpeggios descending. It's a very nice sound, and it's pretty easy to do. So, let's start out with just the descending chromatic scale. We're going to start on E flat. We're going to go down to a C, okay? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, and get that nice and smooth, okay? Two, three, four. Now we're going to go cycle. So we're going to start next on an A flat. Three and a four. Okay, good tone, nice and even, very smooth is how we want these things. Okay, let's go on from there. We're going to go to, uh, we started on A flat. Next we're going to start on D flat. Three, four. Okay, after that, we're going to start on G flat. Three, four. Now we're going to start on B. Three, four. Now we're going to start on E. Three, four. Now we're going to start on A. Three, four. Okay, we're going to start on D. Three, four. Okay, we're going to start on G. Three, four. Okay, we're going to start on C. Three, four. Okay, we're going to start on F. Three, four. Okay, we're going to start on B flat. Three, four. And now we're back home at E flat. Three, four. Okay, I'm going to go straight through that. I'm not going to stop. We're going to go right through the cycle. Okay, three, four. Get that nice and smooth. It will go faster than that eventually. But for now, that will be fine. Okay? So... Now I'm going to show you how to connect this with some descending chords. Now, it fits lots of chords, but for the purpose of this video, just so you get the idea of, of the concept, we're going to start with that note, the E-flat, and we're going to count that as the seventh of an F minor 7 chord, okay? So what we're really doing is we're going down chromatically from the seventh to the fifth. So, the F minor 7 chord itself is E-flat, C, a flat F. And what I'm doing is connecting the seventh to the fifth, going chromatically. Okay? So it sounds really nice. Like here's just the chord. And now when we add that chromatic thing, it sounds a lot more stylized, okay? Let's do it on the next one. So that was F minor seven descending. Now we're going to do B flat minor 7 descending and we're going to start on the A flat. Now this is a little bit tricky because remember back when we started with the beginning of the video I started on the E flat so you're probably thinking oh, okay he's in C minor right? Well it could have been C minor but in this case I decided to make that the top of an F minor 7 chord. So it's true E flat down to C E flat's the third and C is the root but if you look at it as a higher part of the F minor chord, the E flat would be the seventh, and the C would be the fifth. Okay, that's part of this concept that I call dual citizen notes, which is actually explained in detail in the Lobster Theory in, in my latest book. So you can check that out. But you got two notes. Just remember, they could fit lots of different places. It's not necessarily just the third and the root. Okay, so we got. Now, the next one, we're going to start on A flat. So how did I know to go down that chord? Well, the A flat, we're saying that the top note of that chromatic group of four notes is acting as the seventh of a minor seven chord. And the final note, that is acting as the fifth of the minor seven chord. So if you want to make sure you get it really clear in case you're not totally solid on the minor seven chords descending from the seventh, play the chord itself and then do the chromatic shift. Okay? 
There's the next one. But if you need to. Okay, so that was E flat minor. Next one's going to be A flat minor 7. We're going to start on the G flat. If you need the chord itself, here it is. So, this shows you really do need to know the chords descending. You have to have them really solid in order to expand on them and do these other things with it. What's the next one going to be? We just went down A flat minor 7. We're going in the cycle. Next chord is going to be D flat minor 7. Okay? And the seventh of that, it's a C flat. If you're more comfortable calling it a B, well, we could call it a B, but then we got to call it C sharp minor 7, which is fine. Chromatic. Okay? So, this is the assignment. I want you to do this. Get comfortable. If you cannot, just go down the chords going... Get that comfortable first. You should be able to go around the entire cycle, no mistakes, 7, 5, 3, 1, just like I was doing. Put on a metronome, you know, to keep it steady. Once you get that, you want to add this chromatic thing. Remember, we're taking... Etc. We're combining these two things together. So, we're going to go like this. Three... Okay. Later on, you can build speed and do them burning fast. It, it sounds really slick. Uh, I'll do a little bit of that for you. Uh, I'm going to do them chromatically. Etc. Okay. Again, they don't have to be that fast. That's just showing you kind of the extreme. After you've been working on it, it's pretty exciting. But... Get them slow first. Get them solid. So they're smooth, even. Then it just sort of turns into a gesture, a musical gesture, where you put all those pieces together. But again, in the beginning, quality work. That's what you want to do. Be patient. If you can't get through all 12 in one day, that's fine. Do two or three keys in one day and then do two or three more keys the next day, by the end of the week, you'll have all 12. But um, you're much better off with quality work, even if you can only do one per day. Fine. You know, do it in some different registers if you want. Do it at different tempos. And you're going to hear it sounds really nice. And this is just one of many different ways we could apply this descending chromatic scale to a chord. So this is just one example. But get this one under your belt, and then there's going to be more in the future. All right, if you enjoyed this lesson, you like my teaching concepts, uh, visit my website. That's www.gregfishmanjsstudios.com. And if you like, I do have some room for some more Skype students. I have a pretty full schedule, but I can fit a few more people in. And if you like the way that I'm presenting the material, I accept all levels of students. So I have some guys who are professional players who study with me. I've got some college level players. I have some high school level players. I got a lot of adult intermediate players. Uh, I even have some beginning players who are just starting out, which is fine. People always ask me, oh, don't you mind teaching beginning player? Not at all, because beginning players are great. They have no baggage. They don't have any bad habits to break. So they go really quickly with me because I just cut right to the real stuff and we don't have to undo a bunch of uh, misconceptions. So it's uh, if you're thinking about lessons, give it a try. Sign up for one Skype lesson. I'll give you enough stuff to really take you to the next level really quickly. All right. It's been my pleasure speaking with you today, and stay tuned for more in the future. Take care. Have fun with the lesson.